a bit of a foreboding room. They've all been a bit foreboding. It's a long corridor with turns. It's usually a chase room. Oh great, we're in a blood fan. Good evening. You, you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my club box now, but the world is amusing. You came, you are so pretty, but I have been bad. The other world already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change it. It is false pretension, and not dying life with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast legend doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here, so the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors, as the placements go, you shall be admirably had normal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you in the point you knew only as read it. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. And they have parts of my head are not my own. And I cannot take my life. It is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. All I wanted was a friend. But now, the time for chit chat and marshmallows are a fire in me. And I hope that soon, as so shall my life. I have knocked on the death door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. Why would we... Oh. Come on, Red, we can go on adventures together. It can be like... The adventures of... Me and... Red, I suppose. Oof. Why would these be in here? We have a death pit with rising ashes. We have Jesus Christ. Oh no. Come on, my friend. We don't have to do this. We could. Look, Jesus is here. And we like. A bunch of meat hooks, my friend. How about I give you some meat? That would. <gasps> Give him the meat. No. Uh, I don't want to click it. It's like there's got to be like a button or some shit, right? Well, I mean, it's walkie talkie, innit? I'm so sorry, Red. Sorry, buddy. Um, we've lost our only friend in this awful shithole. The meat hawks are confusing me though.
of books, where do you escape and chuck these from? There's everything from survival manuals to the collected works of Shakespeare and Kant's ethics. If this was how he spent his time, no wonder he spoke so strangely. He must have led a lifetime of misunderstanding. I can see Red now sitting here guarding me. I probably wouldn't be standing here now if it wasn't for him. Why did he leave me down here alone? of his arms are visible now, not there, out of choice, father locks on angst. He clutches some notes, shaking hands, he knows, he knows what has come, what the man has released, the only one who could stop it, Howard knows the real fear. If I just... my friend. Jesus, from the stench of it, this may have been this toilet. Oh dear. Yes, quite a taste though. No wonder he's getting hungry. What a final meal. Ration slugs still known in bread. Perhaps he enjoyed them. Well, I suppose you're free now, slug friends. an electrical panel, funny place to have one. That looks like a face. That tricks may be wrong. Out of door. As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had already died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they have answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing deep down that the pain had caused Red was itself all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do over them press on into the unknown. If I had felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would have traded its fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clue or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I'd seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay behind the threshold. I now know I was right. Seems like a list of staff. Welcome to the shelter, established 1973, elevated cast 4, chief staff 6, lower cast 39, temporary 8, total population 57. Key members, Chief Overseer, Wilbur Frisk, 80 present, Brand Stafferson, 73 to 80, Chief Chemist, Neil Oswald, Troy, 
Fretters, Quince, Rip 91, Construction Unit, Pierre Petit, 2279, Chief Zeno Officer, to be announced, Richard Archbrook, Rip 92, Excavation Unit, to be announced, Technology Unit, Darren Gray, Rod Smiths, Away Team, MIA, Head Chef, Benito Carlo, Chief Translator, Howard Lefresque, 73 present, a stub dated 18th of the 2nd, 2000. Please have your identity documents ready. first descended in the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter. It should be continued in Black Plague. it in one sitting, despite the setbacks. I feel bad for Red though. Mm. Uh, hopefully we will be playing the second one soon. I'm just terrified of how long this is gonna take to play to YouTube. I've actually kind of first streaming now, to be honest. Well, that's more information in the next episode. But it's been out for like 12 years, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it's longer than that, it's been out for quite a long time. as being Penumbra Overture. I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. Even now I still can't get the pronunciation right. And I'm pretty sure this would be an excellent time for me to go to bed because I started at like what half eleven and now it's pretty much five in the morning. So that was a nice five hours spent Thank you all for joining me on this wonderful adventure into the unknown. And let us pray for Red, that he has found happiness. Now that, well, he's not stuck in a mind anymore, I suppose. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take care, y'all.